Well, let's have a look at what drives consumption behavior. Here's a, here's a relatively simple model for you to think through. Really, you know, we consume in response to four things. Yeah? We have some needs and we have some desires. Yeah? Have, you, have you got a bag with you today? No. You didn't bring a bag? Did you bring a bag? Yeah, can I, can I see it? Have you got it? There you go. This is a man's bag, right? Yeah? And he puts his in it. Yeah? And it doesn't look that great, but you know what? It does the job. In actual fact, he'd be really happy with a plastic bag, except the handles keep breaking, right? Can I borrow your bag? Yeah? yeah? This is somewhat different, isn't it? Yeah? This, is, this has also got your in it, right? Yeah? And, and, but you would never dream of having a plastic bag. Yeah? I, I don't even know which brand this is. Michael Kors, yeah? Yeah, well, nice bag. Very nice indeed. Is it your only bag? No. Interest. How many bags have you got? Just between you and me. How many have you got? Two? Yeah, just bags. Six. 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 Great. How many bags have you got? Just the one. There we go. I'll put that back down there. That's the difference between needs and desires, boys and girls. Yeah? We all need bags. But for you, you have specific desires about how you look. He doesn't care. He doesn't, no, he cares about you. He just doesn't care about how he looks. Right? And you'll have different bags for different occasions, right? Your six bags. One of them is, is for going out in. Yeah? Or with, not in. Because he wouldn't fit. Yeah? So we have different needs and desires at different occasions. Everybody gets that. Those things drive macro consumption. We have experiences, don't we? Uh, I, I tell this story in Asia. I'm not sure if it's going to work here. Has anybody ever heard of Garuda Indonesia, an airline? No, it's not going to work. You have? Yeah? Have you flown them? No. Would you? Why not? Bad reputation for what? Crashing planes, yeah. Doesn't work well if you're an airline. But this is true. When I, when I do this in Asia and I ask a, an audience about this sort of size, I say, how many of you would fly tomorrow on Garuda Indonesia? And about two hands go up. And I say, how many of you have actually flown on Garuda Indonesia? And the same two hands stay up. Because everybody judges the brand not on what they've actually experienced, but what they've heard. And that has created an experience for them that prevents them from consuming. But do you know what the biggest prevention of consumption is, the, the biggest barrier to consumption, it's having a product available when you want to consume. Yeah? Think about it. Who's thirsty now? Hands up if you're thirsty. Just you? Yeah? You are? You're stuck next to a camera. You're, you're thirsty. I'm thirsty too. And quite frankly, for me, what I'd really like is I'd like a refreshing energy drink. Let's call it Lucozade. But all I've got is water. So Lucasade have now lost a consumption opportunity. All of these things, these are common marketing theories, right? And we understand that if we, if we trigger off, if we stimulate these different needs and desires on different occasions with the right experience and we have the product available, then people will consume. And this behavior is a cycle. The better the experience we have, the stronger the needs and the desires are and so on.